welcome back to my channel. It is Marwa Child here with another video for you guys. Today we are going to be doing a normal girl transformation to a goth girl. So I am very excited to do this, you guys. I've always loved the goth style, but it's so neat. When I was little, I used to love everything about it. Um, the black lipstick, the makeup, the chokers, the black outfits. I mean, the black outfits still hold true to today because I love, I mean, everything in my closet is practically black, but not per se in that style. But I just love everything about it. So I put a lot of thought into this. I was just like, girl, if you were goth, how would you dress? Like, how would you want to like style yourself? And so I have a pretty neat idea of how I'd want to look and stuff so we're gonna do that today so let's get started because i'm very excited to see how this ends up you guys now first things first i did look up a tutorial on how to block out eyebrows so we're gonna block out these eyebrows these bad boys right here they're very bushy Mhm. Mm i want a more sleek thinned out kind of eyebrow i have in mind so we're gonna have to block these out with i'm gonna be using this basic uh washable glue stick we have the first layer so now I'm gonna work on the other side while this one dries we're gonna keep doing this process so let's speed this up a little bit so a lot of layers later a lot of time later I finally think that I have a good enough foundation for me to maybe now layer some cream onto it because I think that helps uh, really set these um, blocked eyebrows. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna be using a NYX cream concealer, I think it is. It's around my skin color, so I think it should work out pretty fine. I think it is because it's helping to go into the spots where there are like tiny little ridges and I think it's gonna fill them in so I think that's gonna help hopefully whoa I look so weird without eyebrows this looks pretty cool though I'm not gonna lie it's pretty gnarly but gnarly such a Californian thing to say Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I did on this eyebrow and do it on this one. Now to set them really quick, I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, powder. So to set them, be a generous amount though. Now that that's done, we can now start on actually putting on makeup. So. For this, I'm just gonna use my Dermacol foundation because it is very much lighter than my skin tone and we are gonna go for that pale look, so why not? So I applied the foundation and I'm so glad that I'm using Dermacol actually because it is like 100% all pigment and it's like the world's pigmented foundation so it's really great and it comes in handy for this look for real like especially in the eyebrow area now what I want to do is probably focus on the eyebrows because I think that is gonna be the hardest thing to pull off for this look for me eyebrows for anyone I think are a big deal whatever style lifestyle whatever you want to call it you have I think eyebrows are just a big deal regardless so for this look I want a very defined kind of eyebrow and I'm gonna be doing with eyeliner but I'm very scared to mess up because that means that if I mess up I'm gonna have to clean it off and if I clean it off that means that I might damage the work that I already did with the eyebrows so I'm so scared so much pressure right now but I'm just gonna dive in really I'm just gonna go for it I've never drawn on eyebrows I'm so scared And that was my first attempt you guys. I feel like I pretty much messed it up But I'm gonna try and go with it and you know here comes the harder part where I have to match this eyebrow No, I have to match this eyebrow to this eyebrow and I don't know how I'm gonna do it I 
also just realized I spaced them way too close together, you guys. Like, what is this? <laughs> So I added like a white base to my eyes just to like so the color could pop but now I'm going to be taking this red that I have from this old elf blush palette thing. It has this nice like vibrant vibrant red that I like. Just hope that it's not like too harsh. Oh it's perfect actually. Too harsh my butt. Now I'm gonna bring that and put it down here also underneath my under eye. Oh God, I poked myself. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now I've never really used a lot of black in my life, but we're gonna use some black today. So, and I'm hoping, I always mess up black, me and black, don't mix when it comes to eyeshadows unless it's kind of like a, a bit of a smoky eye which is kind of when you use a smoky eye it's a bit light I feel I'm gonna want I want to do like a harsher look but we just don't mix when it comes to that so ooh, here we go. I'm going in with black and I'm gonna put that all on my eyelid Now I'm just going to take this glittery one. I think the black might not show up as much, so the glittery one will probably do the trick. Now a lot of things that I see is like they bring the liner down here, which I kind of want to do, but I'm so scared. Oh yeah, it's really coming together now, I think. Now, the last thing at my kryptonite for sure, another kryptonite of mine, is going to be lashes, you guys. I hate putting on lashes so much. Like, I never wear them at all, but I think for this look, it's, it, I think it would really kick it up a notch, I think. So, we're gonna do it. Yeah, I'm going to contour my face now. I mean, if I was actually pale, I would probably use like a gray color, but I'm tan, you guys, sadly. So, not sadly, I love my tan skin. But for this look, it's a no-no. But I'm just gonna use, you know, average contour kit. lipstick do you suppose we're gonna use if you guess black you are correct now to really take this look to the next level I'm going to be applying contacts I would have preferred gray contacts like a nice white gray color but I don't have that so I'm just gonna use the contacts that I already have but I hate putting on contacts you guys it's gonna be a process so I added in my lovely contacts off screen. You guys, it was such a struggle to put on. I cried so much. Me and contacts just don't mix. We're like vinegar and water. But I also drew a half crescent moon on my forehead because I usually see that kind of stuff when I see goth makeup and stuff like that. So I thought it was a neat idea. So I did a half crescent moon. It looks a little wonky, but oh well. I overall love the way that the makeup turned out. It's now just time to like change outfit. I think white is not the ideal wear. So we're gonna change. So there you have it. This is my change of shirt, black. Very, I'm very prepared, I think, for this challenge. Um, I have a lot of black and I had to like go through and choose like the perfect one. And I think this shirt is like the epitome of like a goth kind of style there. Very much so. I love the turtleneck though. It's and the velvet. Ooh, the velvet. But my hair, I feel like, is totally up in that realm of like you know what I would want to do for a goth style look. So I could stop here, but I do have wigs, you guys. So why not take advantage of the fact that I do? So let's take this look one more up, one more notch. So so we can finish this out. So there we go. There we have it. I think it made it look a bit more witchy than goth in my eyes. I think the red hair 
kind of pulled it off a little better but I do like the overall look it's kind of like glammy and goth though I don't know that's what I think it looks like the end product but you guys let me know what you think do you like it do you think I did a good job even to the goth community do, did, did I do an okay job it was a decent or was it total crap so I'm gonna leave you guys here leave a comment down below if you have any questions all that jazz and I'll get back to you for sure and I will see you in my next video so bye you guys